everyone. It's Marlene. Welcome back. I was watching earlier this morning, I was watching Mrs. Melissa M. And she had a video on, her video was on uh, rules that she breaks for women over 40. And I asked her, hey, is it okay with you if I do something similar? Because I've really been wanting to do this for women over 50 or at 60, whatever the case may be. She said, sure, go on, go, go for it. So I am going to leave Melissa's video link down below so you can go and check it out. Love Melissa. Anyway, so I really got inspired by her video because there are so many rules that they put out for women our age. In, our fifth, in, in the 50s, and as you all know, I turned 60 already, and by golly, I break just about every single rule that is said that we shouldn't do. My first rule that I break is with my clothes. I wear jeans with holes on my knees and holes on the thighs and shred it all over the place. I did it in the 70s, and I do it now that I am 60. I don't care. I wear my jeans with spiked heels. And if somebody wants to say that I'm 60 years old and I shouldn't be wearing that, then they shouldn't be looking at me. Bottom line. My hair, rule number two, the length and color of your hair. I had someone leave me a comment one day that said, really, you're 50 and you're wearing your hair purple? Yeah, I am. And the point is, I love my hair purple. I wear my hair purple because I don't look good as a blonde. I don't look good in, in light brown hair. My blue-black hair looks terrible on me at this age. And I refuse to just let myself go gray because I get gray like a, like a skunk, just a big line right down the middle. And that's all the, the gray. So purple just works well for me, I guess. I like it. And whoever doesn't like it really doesn't have to look at it. If you are happy with gray hair, if you are happy with black hair, if you are happy with highlights and lowlights, with your hair really short or your hair down your butt, then for heaven's sakes, wear it that way. Who am I or any one of us here on YouTube to tell, to tell you how you should wear your hair? Now this Melissa talked about, and I'm going to talk about it as well, because it's, it's a real, it's one that really gets to me. I have heard so many times that women, mature women shouldn't wear full coverage foundation. You have all seen my skin. You've all seen it. I have dark spots all over the place. There is no way that I am not going to wear a full coverage foundation. My sister is 53. My sister has great skin. She wears a primer and she doesn't wear anything else. She may wear a BB cream every once in a while. It looks beautiful on her. She has great skin. She's got this even toned complexion, not a, not a blemish, not a dark spot. So of course she's not gonna wear full coverage foundation. Do you really think I'm gonna go out without wearing full coverage foundation? You know what, here's the deal. If I don't wear full coverage foundation, I feel that I look horrible, absolutely horrible. I look at myself in the mirror and I just wanna sit down and cry. So I am going to wear my full coverage foundation regardless of who says that I shouldn't be wearing it because it makes me look older. If you are 55 or you're 60 or you're 52 or whatever your age is and you want to wear a BB cream and that's what makes you happy whether you have dark spots like I do or you don't, then that's what you should wear. If you want to wear full coverage foundation because you're like me and you feel like, oh my gosh, I've got to cover this up, why would anybody, how dare they? tell you or tell me that we cannot wear full coverage foundation. It, it, makes, it makes no sense, none whatsoever. The other thing is there has been controversy here on YouTube over the derma roller. Derma rolling is something that is so very personal to each and every one of us. I personally don't derma roll. I don't do it. Why? Because I'm a chicken. 
That's why I don't derma roll. It's not any other reason other than that. I have friends here, Mary Ellen, who is a registered nurse, and she derma rolls. Monica derma rolls. I, per I went to both my dermatologists. I have two dermatologists because one is not enough. I went to both of them and I asked them if it was okay if I derma rolled. And you know what? They both gave me a sheet like this long with all the, all the process of everything that I should do if I wanted to go and derma roll. And I said thank you and I got home and I studied them and I may or I may not do it. Now, just because I don't do it, I, I, sh I don't think I have the right to tell any of you do derma roll or don't. Another one of my, really my, my pet peeves is the thing with the shadows and the shimmers and the shades. If you want to wear shimmers, if you want to wear mattes, if you want to do a very heavy makeup or you don't want to wear any, any shade on your lid, then that is what you should do. Not what I say. Now what anybody says, now what any one of the creators here say you should or shouldn't do. If you want to do stripes on your eyes and that makes you happy, you will go to the mirror and you say, wow, I look really hot today. Why shouldn't you do that? Who am I to tell you? Who cares what we each individual like? I love to wear a full face of makeup. Actually, even when I am just sitting here at home, I will put on a face of makeup. When I was going through chemo, I would get up early before going to my session and I would put on a full face of makeup and I would do my eyes and I would use my liner and I would put on my red lipstick and I didn't care. And my husband would sometimes look at me and say, you realize you're going to chemo, right? Yeah, I do. I do. I absolutely do. My grandmother wore her makeup until she was in her 90s. I think she died with a face full of makeup. She got up that morning. She did her whole face, put on her red lipstick, and laid down for a nap. And she never woke up. She was 96, I think. 96 or 98, something like that. My mother's 81. She wears makeup every single day. Every day. Even if she's just going off to the store. She's just going to wear makeup. But you know what? If you do not like to wear makeup, don't wear it. I think that we all have to do what really makes us happy. And if makeup makes you happy, wear it. Who cares? And the last thing, I think that you're all really intelligent people, honestly. I mean, I read your comments, I answer, we have conversations back and forth. I think that you all are well aware of why we are here on YouTube. We're here because we like to play with makeup. I also think that those of us that are here on YouTube, we talk about products. I, talk, I know why I talk about products. Let me not talk for anybody else. Let me talk for myself. I talk about products because I enjoy it. I talk about products to you guys the same way as I talk about products to many of the teachers that I work with. They'll stop me in the hall and say, hey, what is that lipstick that you're wearing? Oh, I'm going to Ulta, I got a gift card. Do you recommend this eyeshadow palette or do you recommend that eyeshadow palette? It happens almost every single day. There are probably 70 teachers that I work with. And one day or another, they ask me what, what I recommend. It doesn't matter. How do you get your eyebrows that way? I don't know, whatever. Just because I talk about a product, I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. The same way I'm not telling them to go out and, and buy it. And actually, the, I think it was someone who, it was a, a new creator, and she's really, she has a very, a very, very small channel. And the idea was that a lot of bigger YouTubers talk about products because of the links and and how they get money and, and all this. Well, let me just tell you. Those links that I leave you down below, they only bring in pennies. They do not make me rich. It's pennies, literally, literally. 
The other reason why I put them there is because I know that when I go and I watch somebody's video and I like the lipstick or the eyeshadow or the blush or whatever they're talking about, I go and I love being able to go into that description box and knowing that the product is going to be there and I don't have to hunt all over Google looking for that product or asking them, what is it that you're wearing on your lips? Some may answer, some may not. So it's not, I, I really felt like telling this young girl, you know, we're not, it's not a matter of selling, it's a matter of explaining. If, if I'm using, I don't know, what could I tell you? Here, something I just talked about. If I'm using this product, this Josie Marin milk product, I'm talking about it because I think it really works. And the same way I will call up my sister and say, hey, I just use this, I'm using this product, it really, really works. It's not because I'm trying to sell you anything. It's because I found something that works and I want to share it with you. The same way you guys share with me when you find a product that you think really works. It just drives me absolutely crazy because I think that one of the main reasons that we're here is for that relationship between the viewers and us and being able to share a common love that we have for skincare and for makeup or fashion, whatever the case may be. My main thing is that we all do what makes us feel beautiful. It doesn't matter what that is. It doesn't matter if you want to wash your face with soap and water every single day and not use anything else, then by golly, don't do it. Don't use anything else. If you want to just buy drugstore, then that's okay. You buy drugstore. If you want to buy high-end, if you want to buy a palette that is $300, why shouldn't you? Do what makes you happy. And I'm going to leave you with one of my favorite quotes. And as a teacher, I have to tell you, it comes from Dr. Seuss. And that quote is, those that judge don't matter and those that matter don't judge. Let's please be respectful of each other and let's not follow any rules. Let's break the rules if that's what makes us happy. I think the first rule that I should have listed is there are no rules. There are no rules for you, and there are no rules for me. That's what I should have started off with. <sighs> All right, that's my rant for today. Melissa, if you're watching, thank you so much for allowing me to um, do this video that came out of an inspiration from yours. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Thank you so much for the thumbs up and the comments and thank you for always being there, always giving me a smile with your comments. I so appreciate it. Don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.